Hello and welcome to the part six exam preparation for the Java MTA. In this video, we're going to be focusing on debugging and compiling. Um, my previous video had the exam, the actual exam. In this video, we're going to be looking at the questions and then going over the answers. As I said in my previous video, these questions will be similar to the exam. There'll be multiple choice. There's only going to be 10 questions, um, so that as these questions are only going to cover my part five, um, at the end I will do a full mock exam. So if you would like to know the full mock exam, check out the playlist. Uh, if you get all 10 right, then you're doing well and you can move on to the next section. If you're getting seven or so, you would have passed the exam, um, but I would suggest getting going back and reviewing some of my videos in my playlist to review some of the material that you got wrong and if you're getting six or less then you need to spend a bit more time revising Java and I would suggest checking out some of my videos um, that uh, in my playlist that looks at specific points and ask you questions on those areas okay so the first question is about the try catch um, it's trying to make sure that you understand what the try catch statement is and understand a little bit about what the exception object that you've created now in this one the answer is when there's an error that occurs in the try block that is when the statement in the catch block is executed now because this exception is the parent class um, and it's not a specific kind of exception like um, an index out of bounds exception any exception or any area that occurs in this try block will be executed in this catch statement so the first answer is C if you're struggling with understanding why that is um, I would go to my playlist and have a look at the try catch statement the second question is looking how you can compile and run a Java program within the terminal or the command prompt. So this code will produce an error. What is the reason? Okay, so the first one, the reason why it produces that error is that it has not been compiled yet. So there are two steps to running code or Java code from the terminal. Again, if you need more information about why and what those two steps are, have a look at my playlist regarding the Java terminal. Okay, so in question three, the aim here is just to try and test your ability to understand how the order of the mathematical operators. So in this answer, the correct one is A, because um, to multiply, it becomes before the additional operator. So you don't need the brackets there. So this, the total, will be times by the service fee and then the total will be added on after that. So it's just testing you um, about which order the mathematical operators go in first. If you're struggling with the order or if you don't know all the order, have a good look at the playlist and have a look at the mathematical operators. Question four is all about um, trying to gauge your understanding about the different types of errors that can occur in Java. So understanding what a runtime error is versus a compile and understanding what a logic error is versus syntax. So in this one, because the, it will compile um, and there'll be nothing wrong with it, there'll be no error produced, but the outcome will be wrong. That's a logic error. So um, if you're unsure what the difference is, I would have a look at the playlist and have a look at the difference between compile error and the logic error. The fifth question is also talking about mathematic, uh, the mathematics and the order of the operators. Um, in this question, it wants you to, to try and find the average within each loop. So again, it's a much more complicated example than the previous one. Um, and the, of course, the right answer is D. If you struggled with that kind of question, I would suggest looking at my um, operators, my mathematical operators, and having a look at the maths quiz that I've I gave you at the bottom of my description this will give you a little bit more uh, well this will make you a little bit more comfortable when working out these mathematical formulas and that they might ask you in the exam question six is talking about exceptions and how to read that exception stack trace and understand what it means um, so in this one you have to find out where the main error is or which method contains the er uh, error 
Um, obviously the error is in stage two, as you can see from the stack trace. If the stack trace is a little bit unfamiliar for you, have a look at that playlist and uh, watch the stack trace video and it, this answer should become clear. Question seven is talking more about exceptions, but also using the try catch finally statement. So what would be the output from that? Um, you have completed the loop because it does not fall into that arithmetic error exception. So there will be no exception there and it will just go into the final uh, seg segment. So if you are a bit confused about either the final or the final means, or what the catch arithmetic exception is, have a look at the, the playlist regarding those videos. Again, the eighth question is also about the try catch and the arithmetic exception object. Um, it's asking what would be outputted. Because you can't divide by zero, this would be an arithmetic exception. And so you would print out whatever's in this um, statement. Um, is also looking at what kind of methods an exception will have. And so you also have to understand what this e.getClass method does. And this only prints out the exception class and no other information. So if you're struggling with the try catch, have a look at those videos. If you're understanding, if you're struggling to understand what this exception is, have a look at what the exception um, video tells you. And if you're wondering what this e.getClass method does, have a look at that video about the exception and its details, and that will help you figure out the answer to this question. Question nine is focusing mostly on the finally and what that does um, when there's an, an exception that happens. So we are again dividing by zero, so it will not catch the index out of bounds. It will go straight and catch the arithmetic exception, so it will print C. And because we have a finally, it will also print A. So we've got CA. Again, if you're struggling with that finally, go to the playlist and have a look at what that does. Um, the last one, question 10. Again, this is talking about the terminal and how to correctly execute the code from the terminal um, and understanding what order that execution must be in. So again, the correct answer is number C. So if you've got all 10 right, that's fantastic. You're on your way to getting a good result in the exam. If you've got seven or so, um, you should be getting a pass rate in that uh, with that kind of figure. But I would suggest looking back at some of the videos and the concepts that you were getting wrong. And if you're getting less than six, then I would suggest going to my playlist and looking through the videos um, and, and reviewing that information. So we've come to the end of the exam. Um, hopefully you scored well. If you found this useful at all, please like. Um, if you would like to get updated with more exam prep mock tests, please subscribe to the video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.